Yes, okay. yes, a rather unprecedented uh, tragedy um, happened this morning, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> one of the legs of uh, my primary tripod snapped me off for uh, no particular reason, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, uh, hopefully. I should I've ordered a, a new one so uh, everything goes according to plan the, the courier fucked up on his way over here uh, should be getting my new one in tomorrow then I'll be back on track with my drum coverage anyhow um, today uh, well I just think it was yesterday um, I'm at least 95% positive that I've heard of Tesseract before, but I've never heard their music before. And I briefly came across one of their songs called Nocturne um, yesterday, and uh, it was really fucking cool. Uh, and uh, I just, I just, you know, I've spoken recently about how I'd like to sort of like develop my drumming style and uh, develop that further. Well, um, this band in particular was, or most definitely is, very inspirational um, in that respect. So uh, I just thought I'd. Uh, You hear this song with me and uh, see what you make of it if uh, you guys haven't heard them either. Check it out. Groove right there reminded me a bit of uh, Thomas Hack actually. Um, the the drummer sounds like he was playing on stacks, much like uh, Thomas Hack does actually, and uh, accenting on them as well. It's quite interesting. That's a particular style I could potentially struggle with. Ghost notes. I can't say I've really tried using ghost notes before. And the sort of music I've played along to so far, they're not really that apparent. Um, off. There's no way I could use my primary hi-hat and do the ghost notes. I mean, you've seen my, my videos already. I find it hard enough already <laughs> trying to uh, keep my right hand in control with my left. 
uh, well, just doing a, a basic groove. So, doing ghost notes with my primary hi hat is not really an option. I could try, I suppose, using my um, auxiliary hi hat on the right side of my kit. That's potentially an option anyway. Let's see what happens next. Yeah, this is uh, most definitely progressive methyl again. Except the intro reminded me a bit of uh, Thomas Hack, but the other progressive drummers I've talked about before, like Mike Portnoy um, and Danny Carey, this sounds a bit different to be honest. And where Danny Carey obviously uses uh, ghost notes, as does. Um, like Portnoy as well, and some of those songs anyway, but uh, I don't know, this type of drumming seems to just have a different sort of vibe to it, it's interesting. That chorus groove seems easy enough, pretty kind of straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, it seems that um, the transition, I have <laughs> no idea of what time signature the, the verse is in, but uh, it seems to transition into a basic 4-4 four, four groove in the chorus, um, maybe in the pre-chorus as well actually. Uh, there's also some, quite a lot of uh, tom fills going on as well. Um, trying to cover this song. This is just so fucking cool. Uh, as with many of my other covers, I must have had to compensate in some way. Um, <clears throat> apparently using the double bass pedal most likely for uh, trying to pull off those um, tom fills anyway in some way. Uh, but most definitely the the ghost notes I have to try and learn somehow. I mean, the alternative, I guess, is using the pedal as a hi hat. Just uh, without my hands at all, just using my left foot and uh, kind of do it that way. Uh, I'm trying to coordinate the The bass drum and the rhythm as well. 
have to listen to this a couple more times to get the feel of it. Returns to that um, groove from the beginning, the accents and the stacks. I think either China or stacks, one or the other. Yeah. Could be quite complicated to learn, but I mean, <laughs> this is only one of those songs I've heard so far. So. Should uh, have some of the other songs of the band I'm listening as well. Get more, like, more of the feel of what they do. But yeah, uh, that song is just so awesome. I love it. <laughs> so fucking cool. Hope you enjoyed this uh, song as much as I did, guys. Um, yeah, most certainly a type of uh, style of drumming I'd love to aspire to, to be honest. Um, I reckon progressive metal, I mean, given the fact that it was, as you know, um, a perfect circle that primarily kind of got me into the music I'm listening to today and therefore like Tool came shortly afterwards uh, it's kind of real no surprise to me to be honest that um, I like progressive metal so very much and then I don't know how much way too long down the line it was that I discovered James did it, but again, another progressive metal band, so yeah, and Miss Sugar as well, Tom Sack, phenomenal drummer, I mean, they all are, Danny Carey, Thomas Hack, uh, Mike Porter, absolute titans of <laughs> progressive metal, just, ugh legends in their own right as far as I'm concerned <coughs> anyway um yeah like I said uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll have my um, tripod new tripod uh, soon enough and uh, I'll be back onto my drum covers as uh, soon as I get that back through uh, so for the time being you guys take care and I'll catch you later